Whether you're traveling, working, or just going about your day to day, it's always great to be able to save on space while still feeling prepared to take on anything that might come your way. One of the best ways to do this is to carry accessories that can serve multiple purposes. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of the items that I've been using recently, which have some pretty interesting functionality and have helped me just kind of simplify the items that I have to carry with me. Before jumping in, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Two items that I always have on me regardless of whether I'm traveling or going about my day to day are a flashlight and a pen. And I have two really interesting options from Olight here. One of them is their EOS flashlight, which has been around for a while. I've really enjoyed using this over the years and now they've released it in carbon fiber. So it looks and feels really good, very durable. I love the form factor of this. It easily fits into my pocket while still providing a lot of light. It can get up to 180 lumens. And I like that it has one-handed operation. So it has a button at the top that allows you to adjust the level and just turn it on and off. It is about the size of a Fisher Space Pen, so it doesn't take up a ton of space. It only needs one AAA battery to work, so it's easy to just kind of swap that out. And I like the clip that's included with the flashlight. This is what really kind of helps it become more multi-purpose is the fact that this clip allows you to attach this to a hat. So instead of carrying a headlamp, you can just attach this and then still have that sort of hands-free visibility in this compact form factor. So I've absolutely loved using this. The other item that I have here is their two-in-one pen. And I believe that this is a newer item. And the first thing that I love about this is that it's a bolt action pen. So it has this mechanism here that allows you to open it up, locks it in, very easy to actually use it to write. One of my favorite fidget toys. I've used a few of these bolt actions recently and that in itself already provides a ton of value. But then the pen also has a laser pointer at the top. So that's going to be great if you know you're in a professional setting and you need to do a presentation. You have that built in here and it also has a little flashlight on the clip that provides a nice amount of visibility for nighttime writing if you're on a flight or you know, if you just need a smaller flashlight, this is just gonna be on your person. And then you can actually separate this out into different pieces so that you can use one individually. You can just use the pen on its own, you can use the flashlight, you can combine them together. So really interesting, unique sort of mix of features here. Very durable, it's gonna be offered in a few different color combinations. The one I have here is green, which looks really nice. So just a very cool pen. It is a little bit larger than some of these smaller ones that I normally carry with me, but I think that it's a totally fair trade-off for the amount of functionality that you get. And if you don't need to use both pieces, you can leave one at home. So just a ton of versatility. And I have included a coupon code in the description below if you wanna check these out and purchase them from Olight site. The Modal Infinity Tool is a simple but really useful accessory. Like a hero clip, it's something that I just like to have on me. I don't use it that much, but the times when I've needed it, I've been super happy that I have them on me. Basically, they end up working kind of like reusable zip ties. They're made out of a very rugged silicon material, and it has these stainless steel sort of buckles that allow you to wrap this around a variety of accessories, or straps, and you know, have a really secure hold there. And you have a lot of sort of flexibility with how you can use this. There's a lot of different use cases. I've used them to kind of wrap up some of my cables. I've used it as a makeshift sternum strap and something like the Go Ruck Bullet Ruck, where I really wanted to have that peace of mind. I didn't have one on me, so I can just wrap this around and it has a really secure hold. It's offered in two different sizes. You have a long one and a short one. This shorter one can potentially be worn as, as a bracelet. It's not something that I would maybe wear particularly in this colorway, but you know, it, it's something that you can have on you and this works great again for securing cables and you have the adjustability of going as you know small as you want given the number of loops that you have. This is a really rugged material that will take a little bit to you know kind of soften up and break in, but then you can use this to clip on gear onto your bags. And you know, it's nice to have the variety of sizes. I mean, this can really go around something that's pretty wide. You can actually combine these together to make really long chains of these loops. So you can you know, buy a bunch of them and you can thread it through this loop in the middle, which allows you to really 
take on that sort of zip zip tie sort of functionality. So it really offers a secure hold here. And it's just a, an interesting accessory that doesn't take up a ton of space. You can really toss this into any bag, clip it outside onto a handle or, you know, molly webbing if you have a more tactical bag. And then it kind of just stays out of the way. And when you need it, you can really get kind of put this to good use. Pouches are a great way to keep your tech and other accessories organized and easily accessible. I've used a ton of different pouches over the years. I'm always swapping them out and I have specific pouches for specific purposes. And one of the pouches that I've enjoyed a lot is the tech pouch from Wandered. This is the medium sized version. They do offer it in a larger size. And I really like the weather resistance on this pouch. It really feels like everything that's on the inside is gonna be very well protected. It has a pretty small form factor, which is something that I look for in my pouches as it can fit into a travel backpack or a day bag really easily without taking up a ton of space. It's also not super rigid, so it can kind of mold around any of the items that you have on the inside. On the exterior, you have some carrying handles, so it's easy to kind of pull it out of a bag if needed. And one of the really interesting things about this one is that it has these loops on the outside that you can pair with a strap that allows you to turn this into a sling bag, a shoulder bag, or even a fanny pack. So in addition to just having some organization that you can pull in and out of your bag, you can actually wear this while you're walking around and you know just use it to hold some of the accessories that don't fit into your pocket. So really turning this from a single use item into a multi-purpose item. The layout here is really nice. On the front, you have one quick access pocket that has fleece lining. So it's gonna be a good spot for something a little bit more delicate like your phone. A nice amount of space in there. And then it has a pretty wide opening with an accordion style layout. And I like that this kind of stands up on its own so you can place this down next to you while you're working, reach in and grab your accessories. And you have a few different dividers on the inside that are gonna you know, provide enough space for bulkier items such as a laptop charger. It's gonna fit in there pretty easily. You can see a big open space here. You have a slot for something like a pen. And then you have smaller compartments for AirPods, cables. I have a variety of chargers in here just to kind of show off the space that this provides. I have one of my hard drives. So a nice layout here that's not overwhelming. It does give you some separation, but it doesn't take up a ton of space. It keeps things pretty compact. And you know, if you're looking for a versatile pouch that can keep your stuff organized and work as a sling and carry solution, this can be a really good option to check out. When I'm out for the day and trying to grab food quickly, it's nice to have a backup set of utensils. One that I've been testing out recently is this carabiner from Kershaw that has a spoon, a fork, and a bottle opener in a really compact package. I like that the carabiner allows me to attach it inside of my bag, but if I'm not gonna attach it anywhere, it doesn't take up a ton of space. It's pretty flat. It's a little bit smaller than some of the sporks and other sort of packable utensils that I've used in the past has a really solid build quality. It's not gonna be the ideal eating experience given that it's got a little bit of a shorter handle, but I can still get a good grip if I'm having a soup or something like that. And then a simple fork, you know, it kind of gets the job done. And it's always nice to have a bottle opener, particularly if I'm grabbing a beer or a drink out somewhere. So really simple accessory, it doesn't take up a ton of space and it's come in really handy in the times that I've needed it. Another item that I always have on me if I'm not traveling by air is a pocket knife. And I love pocket knives in general. I try out a bunch of different ones, but as we're talking about multi-purpose items in this video, one of the ones that I come back to the most is this Kershaw Shuffle. This is the Shuffle 2. I believe they have a few different versions. And this to me has always been just a great balance of pocket knife and multi-tool. You still get the feeling of having a really sort of capable pocket knife. It has a thumb stud opening. It's very easy to open it up, a liner lock. It's a pretty compact size, so it's not gonna be something that takes up a ton of space in your pocket or even look a little bit scary when you pull it out in front of people. It's under three inches, I believe, the blade. So it's, it's very, very small and it fits into my pocket. It has a clip that you can remove or change the side of depending on whether you're righty or you're lefty. But what's really cool about the Kershaw Shuffle is the fact that it has this little flathead screwdriver at the end. It can also work as kind of a pry tool, a scraper, and then it also has a bottle opener included here. And this is also a pretty affordable knife. I think it comes in at under $30. So if you're trying to find something that gives you some of the functionality that you might find in a Swiss Army knife, but in a more sort of pocket knife style carry, then this is gonna be a really great option to check out. Even in today's digital age, most people still have to contend with some type of a wallet. Whether you're carrying a few cards, an ID, some cash, 
it's always nice to be able to have something that's compact but still capable. One of the ones that I've used a lot recently, I've featured in a few videos, is the Peak Design Mobile Wallet Stand. I really love the form factor and quality of this wallet. You can see that it's pretty thin. It's gonna fit into a pocket very easily without feeling super bulky. It has you know, a very modern aesthetic. And one of my favorite things is that it has this flap closure here. It's secured with a magnet, which is gonna prevent your cards or cash from accidentally slipping out. It also has this pull tab mechanism so that you can pull your cards up, fan them out, and easily grab the one that you're trying to get to. And then this is also really useful as it's MagSafe compatible. You can attach it to the back of your phone if that's something that you like to do to just kind of combine some of your essentials. But the best thing about this to me is definitely the stand functionality that it has. This is gonna allow you to place your phone upright or horizontally so that you can take a phone call or watch a movie while you're on a flight. I've used it a bunch for that. And this can also work as a makeshift money clip. If you're carrying more cash and you don't actually need to use it to stand the phone up, you can place some bills in there, secure it, and it'll do the job just fine. So a really versatile accessory, very slim form factor, durable, and if you're looking for a modern wallet that's going to have all the sort of bells and whistles that you could want, then this is going to be a fantastic option to check out. When you're traveling, it can be pretty annoying to look down at your phone for hours at a time. I know for me, my neck tends to start to hurt, which is why I was really intrigued when I came across this accessory, which is a clip that's going to allow you to attach your phone to the seat in front of you. It has this mechanism here that you can push up. You can see that it goes up quite a bit and will allow this to attach onto the seat. And then it has a separate clip that you can use for your phone and it's gonna be able to hold the device up while you're watching a movie. So this is something that I've used on a ton of flights now. It's very simple, but it has done the job quite nicely. It can be a little bit loud when you're adjusting it, uh, but it's also cool that it can take on a few different shapes. So you can actually use this as a normal phone stand as well. You can position it in a variety of ways. It can work in portrait or landscape mode. And it also just works as an accessory around the house. I've actually used this to hang up my headphones on one of my desks. So I've bought a few of these and I just you know, have them around for whenever I need them and you know, my headphones haven't fallen. So really just versatile accessory, very simple, pretty inexpensive. There's probably a bunch of these on Amazon and I'll go ahead and link to the one that I have here in the description below. One item that has become a mainstay on any trip that I do is a versatile and lightweight jacket. I have featured a few different puffy jackets on the channel. Uh, recently I've been testing out this shirt jacket from Proof. This is from their new Moonweight collection, which they're doing with Huckberry. And this sort of combines the benefits of a puffy jacket into a more kind of compact form factor. The shirt jacket in general is something that I've seen becoming a little bit more popular as it's you know really versatile in that it provides a layering piece. It can actually just keep you quite warm on its own. It looks pretty nice. I think it looks a little bit more stylish than, than kind of a standard jacket. The Moonweight name comes from the fact that the fabric is infused with graphene, which is gonna help keep the weight of this down while maintaining the durability, the warmth, and it's also gonna provide odor resistance, weather resistance, so just a really versatile fabric. You have you know, very comfortable sort of silhouette. I think it looks really nice with a variety of outfits. You also have some nice functionality as far as some pocketing. You have a snap pocket on the front as well as a zippered pocket that's gonna be great for a phone or your passport or something like that. You can wear this open, you can wear it closed. On the inside, you have some additional hidden pocketing, uh, an elastic pocket here, which is a little bit bigger. It's gonna be a good spot for maybe a hat, some gloves, a portable battery. And then at the top, you can also take advantage of this section here to store another smaller accessory, maybe your wallet as it's gonna be on the inside, a little bit more hidden. You have a nice loop here that's gonna allow you to hang this up when you're not wearing it. And then it's just gonna be super lightweight and packable. You know, it's gonna keep me warm on the flight and when I reach my destination, but if I wanna take it off and throw it into my bag because of the fabrics that have been used here, it's gonna be able to pack away very tight and small, not take up a ton of weight. So it's just a really versatile accessory that's gonna help you know, keep me a little bit warmer. And if you wanna check this out or see some of the other items in the Moonweight collection that include a puffy jacket and a vest, make sure to check out Huckberry's site. When I think about multi-purpose bags, one of the first items that always comes to mind is the MacPack Series 2. This is a bag that has the ability to expand and compress so it works well for your day-to-day -day and also for a little bit of longer travel. It has this sort of hidden compartment on the back that you can expand out with a zipper and then the compartment opens up like a suitcase 
so that you can pack your packing cubes, your clothes, your shoes, anything that you need for your trip can kind of go in this section and then you still have the ability to use all of the organization that's on the front to organize your stuff and access it very easily. So you have little loops where you can add dongles or cables or multi-tools. You have slip pockets, zipper pockets, fleece line pockets. You have a kind of hidden water bottle compartment on the side, side access, a laptop compartment. You have a luggage pass through. So if you want to rest this on a larger suitcase, it's got a pretty comfortable harness system. Uh, and, and back panel so you're gonna be able to wear it and it's not gonna cause a ton of fatigue you can hide the straps away so there's just a ton of functionality in this bag and on top of that it has a really kind of stylish and modern look in my opinion so it's gonna be particularly good for work travel if you need something that looks a little bit more professional that's gonna match up with a suit that you can take into an office setting while you're traveling then this is gonna be a really solid option to consider and so that's it. That's some of the cool multi-purpose gear that I've been using recently. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions on the items that I've featured in the video or suggestions for similar gear that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I'll make sure to include links in the description below to everything that I featured in the video, as well as links to some of the other Roundup videos that I've done in the past where I've shared my favorite travel gear, favorite travel clothes, bags, things like that. And if you have suggestions for other similar types of videos that you think I should do in the future, definitely let me know about those as well. And I want to thank you as always for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.